Welcome everybody. Um, a short lesson on uh, long setups for small caps and big caps. Uh, you will see um, more examples. You will find more examples over here in trading setups. All right, there are a lot of uh, PDFs. Uh, also in the trading library, uh, there are uh, six, uh, six or seven uh, trading lessons on longs, right? For small caps and for big caps. Uh, the setups is, uh, are similar. Uh, so I'm going to cover here a few examples. Uh, first of all, uh, the best um, long setups happen when we have a uh, micro float. This is surely for small caps. Uh, high volume. And high volume always has to be related to the uh, dollar price, to the float, and uh, also um, relative to the previous moves on the same stock, all right? For example, uh, let's say over here we have WIMI. Uh, last time had two big extension days, uh, went up 30 and let's say 100% with uh, average volume 200K per minute. Today we have a volume of average 400K per minute. We have two times Sorry, we have one time more, so 100% more uh, of that volume. So that's a high relative volume, all right? In this case, I would say strong volume. Uh, if we have instead uh, uh, 50K per minute volume, and as I said, the previous time was 200K average, we will have one fourth. That's a very uh, low volume. And generally, it's a not sustainable move. Uh, then we will have a set of higher lows, uh, dips holding, and in this case, J lines will be the guide, all right? We can have also some uh, further parameters like SSR Han, uh, or we can have uh, no previous resistance and no dilution, all right? So this is um, let's say a small guide for you of what you need for a long set. Um, so first I would like to cover um, the long consolidation uh, setup. And generally I look at this stock using a three minute chart. Over here we have a, a one minute chart. So how this work? So it works like this. You must have a gap up. Generally like to have a gap up and then a pullback. And a long consolidation. The longer, the better. You wanna see an accumulation over here. And then you wanna see an increase of the momentum. So in this case, an increase of the trend. You see a set of higher lows. And over here, end of the day, we see an increase of the volume. Looking at the stock, you have three important levels. So first of all, you can plot your FIBS, as I explained in the room, plot your pre-market uh, high of day resistance. And once we toss that low, all right, uh, you can plot your, your low. The first low in the first 30 minutes. So each time you would have a low of the day, you can plot that. And you can see that this is the first part of our chart, right? We see that the price goes at three minute J lines, bounces above at three minute J lines. And what happens over here, traders? We have a clear pattern. I don't know if anybody sees it. We have a clear pattern of long. This is our first long over here. You wanna see increase of the volume. You wanna see a nice curl, three minutes, one minute, we up breakout, and that's a small scalp because once I enter on over here, having always my tape next to me, 
seeing support forming at this level. Uh, prints uh, fasting, so speed of the tape, all right, over here, speeding up, accelerating. And you want to see uh, more greens, at least two thirds comparing to the red. So you take along, and on the first push, you can already sell partial of your uh, size. Then you can put stop break even, and you can trail with lower highs. In this case, we have not a big run, we have another consolidation, and then a flush. This flush over here, midday, is what I call the infamous, really because it's like that, bear trap. Because uh, think this, this is a stock, all right, that uh, seems a pretty good uh, gap and grab, so a fader. Right away at the open, we form this top, we go below J lines, and what happens over here, traders? We have rejection VWAP, rejection VWAP, so, we have a lot of short sellers uh, stepping inside over here. Then this is our guide. That's the reason why I tell you, use the three minute Zalans over here. Acts often as our first target for this uh, pattern to short and is a very good support level. Uh, is it clear traders up till now? So having the J lines, how they really guide you in the trade. Okay, so you have, and it's very important because it's all here the process, all right? This is one setup, it's the long consolidation setup. So we have short sellers that each time you have the J lines and VWAP, this is a perfect setup. When you trade short pops, not weakness. And over here, you will have dip buyers. You see higher lows coming, higher lows coming, volume coming in and then squeeze so in order not to be squeezed, don't wait that you have this push over here. Don't wait to put a stop of the web. Right away, often we have, you hear me saying, if you start seeing higher lows, get out before the squeeze, all right? So in this case, before you have this break of this cup pattern over here, because you can always stop out and then re-enter. The second part of our chart, all right, is again a fader. So we have a first zone over here. I'm going to do like this. Maybe you see it better. A first zone over here of uh, trap. A second zone of trap. But even if you short these zones over here, these zones over here, you will short per system at the Zaylands and VWAF, at the Zaylands over here. So the system will never tell you to short down here like the majority of retailers do, all right? But always on top. So always on top means that after the target is reached, maximum stop, all right, maximum stop is break even or trailing in the money. So your trade becomes right away a winning trade. After this, what happens? We have another push, and as we said over here, this becomes the first long. Moving out around 12 o'clock, we start having another setup over here of a trap. You see these traders? Again, what they do, they are flushing the trade again below uh, B weapon J lines. And over here, we have at this point traders big hands, all right? Stepping in over here. So they are like, when you hear, hear me saying on tape reading, they are absorbing over here at 7.30, 7.40 at this level, is that is basically uh, sellers over here, bag holders, retailers, traders selling over here, and the big hands, they are like instead collecting their shares, they're absorbing their shares for then pushing and you can see the volume over here starting to rise. So question for you, where is on this chart, the other long pattern? So the first one we said is over here. Where is the second one on this chart? Following this 
uh, parameter. So waiting for the bear trap and then the curl up. So Jorgen saying 1030. No. Todd is still 50. Todd is totally right. Uh, even Carlos. Perfect traders. Exactly. Why? Wait for this area. So another trap. And then you see that curl over there. That curl is simply your A plus setup. So once we have that small reclaim over here, and you can see reclaim of J lines, reclaim of VWAP, cross of the 9MA, again over here, this becomes your long. So you long over here at 770, 772. Don't chase, you cannot enter 790 and tell me, oh, I took long, didn't work, okay? So you have to take long over here, stop below or the relative low over here or the VWAP and J lines. And then you manage your position, having as first target, what are pre-market high? So from this small entry over here, from this small, uh, let's say, curl, it fuels and ignites all our trade all right, is it clearly understandable? Uh, beginners, if you have questions, all right. Perfect. So getting over with a trade, with a setup over here. You can see how we start having higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. And on this side, right, the side above J lines, we never have lower highs, always higher lows. High, high, high. And over here, when it starts to give us this breakout, right, of the $10, you can see how it becomes from, let's say, a 20 degree move to a 60, 70% degree move, and high volume comes in. The other parameter that I would like you to focus on is looking at this using a three minutes because I personally run a five, a one and three minute chart all together because I'm a little bit fanatic of uh, chart patterns. I mean, before really starting to trade years ago, I was only looking at chart because I liked them. So I passed, uh, I would say thousands of hours studying all the, the books we had at that time of Larry Connors, Larry Williams, Barry Root, Linda Rashke, Tony Odds, and so on. So how they were looking for breakouts, breakdown, uh, their patterns, hit and run, and so on. So looking at the same chart, you know that during the day over here in trading setups, right? So do like this, and more of the stuff is in the playbook setup on the website, right? So you go over here and you start looking at this afternoon, yeah, not afternoon, all right. This same setup is you have all the parameters inside over here, right? So you go over there, you study, and you will see exactly how to trade using this time, the three minute chart, exactly over here, all right? So this is. Uh, the long consolidation setup that I want you to explain. Uh, I would like to um, show you more examples over here. I think we still have a couple more minutes if, you, if you're following. So this is CETX. So you can see that the trade over here starts like a gap and extension. We start having dip. VWAP is the blue one. So again, what happens over here? Below that um, J lines, below that VWAP, we have again a bear trap. And you can short over here these pops, but always be ready to cut it once we start reclaiming the tail lines. So now look what happens over here. 
look using the three minute day lines over here. Actually, um, this is a perfect dip in an uptrend over here. And then starting to look when we have a trend line break and the small curl. So the small curl again over here uh, gives us the long entry. Then all during the day, start looking for the bear traps over here, bear traps over here. And once we reclaim with a curl up. So again, over here, you will have your trend break, curl up long. You will have your trend break, curl up long. So it's always the same repetition of the previous chart. Wait for that infamous bear trap. Wait for a trend break, curl up, volume, always volume. Once you step in again to confirm your trade. All right. So Matt is saying right now, SND is making the same thing. So let me see SND. SND, right? Uh, you are for me, Matt. You're writing for me. Okay. So let's go check SND traders together. Max is saying he's long. All right. So let's put a one minute chart. Let's put a one minute chart. Exactly what's happening over here. Exactly. Yes. Good spot, buddy. So we have our trend break, our curl up, our over here, our zone below VWAP, right? So this red dotted line is the infamous bear trap. And then we have the reclaim over here with a curl up and push. Same thing starts to happen over here. And now we would need a long consolidation for a long setup. Uh, more examples. We have many, many examples over here going over. So let me clear this. We start having AYRO over here, a dip holding in uh, the previous weeks. You can see all these are J lines, dip bounce, dip bounce, dip bounce again over here. So you are like uh, looking for where to long, all right? Simply start looking for your trend breaks, volume stepping in, higher lows, curls, J lines, and take your long. More of this stuff is explained with better rules, more in detail in the, in the one-on-one pre-recorded. And it's simply like one of the best setup over here, once you have that volume, so I really suggested the tape reading because that gives you the confirmation of this. Uh, more setups over here. Same was on, uh, on SIN, for example. So SIN was one of those stocks that started the morning over here, showing a possible uh, gap and crap. And instead, once we reclaim that blue line, which is our VWAP, right? This one over here and started to curl. You see that curl over here, volume pushing in, trend line, trend line break, that becomes your long setup. And then all morning we had over here, J lines did, bound, did bounce for the upside. And again, this uptrend uh, dips holding and push to the upside. Is it clear, traders, how it works? All right, all right. 
So always use the one minute J lines, but if you study all the setups in the trading lessons, uh, you will know when to use a one, when to use a three. And uh, mostly is explained in the, in the one-on-one pre-recorded button. All right, traders. So we'll continue now to look at SND, other stocks. Um, hope you enjoyed this uh, explanation. More to come on uh, long setups. All right. So we'll see other example, uh, examples later on. Uh, if you have um, uh, more interest in looking at this, yeah, go on uh, the website. This and many other videos on long setups are already uploaded. Thank you very much.